I'm back with another studio vlog. Yay! <laughs> All right, so today is supposed to be a social day, or, or at least it was, but I ended up finding out that family ended up making plans over our plans, so we are going to do a little bit of social stuff, but it's not gonna take up too much of the day. It'll just be in the middle, so I'm going to try and do some cleaning in the morning because my room is a mess and it's like super stressing me out and then in the afternoon after we go to the movies we're gonna see spider-verse wee <laughs> which i'm super excited about and um and probably like get food or something so in the afternoon i'm hoping to work on some 365 stuff because i'm super behind i've eaten into all of my 365 and i only have a day's lead so i have today's 365 which I haven't posted yet and tomorrow's 365 and that's it so I'm hoping today and tomorrow I can really focus on building up a backlog again so right now I'm just gonna get into cleaning tidying up a little bit I have laundry that I'm doing so I need to finish that up but mostly I have like boxes that need to be broken down I have just like things that are not in their right place all over my room so I want to spend some time putting things back together and making my room um, <laughs> more enjoyable to be in because like I said it's been stressing me out how messy my room is Welcome to day two of the vlog. Say hi, Kiwi. 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 Say hi to the vlog. Hi. <laughs> so yesterday ended up working out pretty well. I ended up doing two of my 365 drawings. I ended up, I started using Buffer to schedule my Instagram post for the 365s. And that way I can keep track of how much of a backlog that I have easier than how I've been doing it. Cause I just have to kind of like look at them and be like, have I posted this yet? Especially cause they're not in order. So that should be an easier way to keep track of that. Now I'm just kind of trying to build a backlog. That's the plan for today. Yesterday I had a lot of fun. I ended up going to the movies. I saw uh, the Spider-Verse movie for the first time. It was fantastic. I loved it. My little brothers loved it. My dad was all like, I don't like it. Great movie. Highly recommend it. I was able to do some drawing when I got home, which I'm really happy about. I definitely, I cleaned my room and stuff before I left, which was much needed. I'm less stressed out. I started working on putting together my display I still obviously need to make all of the stuff for it so I'm kind of hoping that today I'll be able to print a few things out then I'm supposed to go over to my older siblings house hopefully I'll get some more drawings in and tomorrow I don't know I still have to squeeze in making a Q&A video editing the vlogs and stuff like that like I'm forever behind on vlog editing so lots of stuff to do and I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to be focusing on so I guess we're just going to figure it out together. Okay here's the comparison with the 50% uh, brightness adjustment versus the original and again 50% brightness adjustment versus the original. As you can see on this one I everything kind of turned a little bit more yellow so I lost some of that orange but I do like the value and same with this one it feels like it's a little bit yellower. It brings out the yellow. Okay here are the possible prints that I'll be selling. A couple of these I actually might not I'm just printing out the ones that I sort of like and then kind of weeding some out okay so it's Monday and today I have off because it's a holiday and whew, I decided that I wanted to take this calendar that I got from Fran uh, I will link to it in the description box below, but I took the calendar and I decided to kind of fill out all of the things that I have to keep in mind for the next couple of weeks. This is my like shop launch calendar and I'm feeling very overwhelmed. So I'm glad to know the kind of things that I want to do so that I'm aware of what needs 
to be done to get them done. I kind of wish I'd done this sooner so that I could have been a little bit mi more mindful. Like for instance, I really want to get a Zine in time for Emerald City Comic Con. I'm just going to do uh, basically a sketchbook, so a sketchbook art book. And if that's true and I want to get that done, I kind of need to set everything up today and ship it out. I also want to do a Q&A video for tomorrow, which might actually not happen. I might just cut out the video for tomorrow and save that for later. I still have to edit the studio. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Just kind of doing a top-down look at the whole thing. It's stressful, so I'm going to have to cut some of these things out and figure out what are the priorities because right now I think this might just be too much on my plate. I felt like I had more time than I do and now that I'm looking at it like this is today, this is my shop launch, and this is Emerald City Comic Con. And as you can see this all fits on one sheet. That's not a lot of time for me to do everything. I am really excited. I wanted to launch my shop before Emerald City Comic Con, but I realized there's just too much stuff that I wanted to do. I'm so nervous though. Like, I'm really afraid I'm gonna do all of this and it's not gonna go well. So I'll probably change into something a little bit nicer just in case I do shoot the Q&A video. Then I'm going to start working on design. I think that's what I'll do first. I'll focus on working on design because that's my top priority for the day. I also want to transfer this into my weeklies. Okay, so I have looked into where I'm going to get the book done. I believe I'm going to get it at the same place I got this one done, and I'm hoping to do a new print of this one that's not super pixelated. <laughs> Um, so if you don't know, the first sketchbook sign that I did was this one. It had a lot of the things from the Copic sketchbook that I work in. And unfortunately, I ended up using a really crappy scanner to scan everything. And I set it all up and sent it out without kind of zooming in and looking at what it would be at at 100%. And so when I got it, I was like, oh my god, what happened? They gave me terrible quality stuff. And then I noticed the things that I had put on it, like myself, like the titles and everything that I had just like made into it were perfect. It was just all of the scans. And then I looked at the scans that I did and they were really, really poor quality. And I ended up just kind of getting rid of a bunch of them because I didn't want to put them on my shop or anything because I just... I was kind of so ashamed of them, but I did keep one for myself because this is like the first little sketchbook that I ever did. Like I'm pretty happy with everything except the scan quality. Like I did such a poor job with the scans that it's so upsetting, but everything that should be sharp, you know, like that wasn't scanned horribly comes in pretty nicely. So I'm going to use the same place, which I believe was overnight prints. I know it's nothing super fancy, but designs go for pretty cheap um and then I'm gonna try and see you know what cost I can get them I might try and get this one again too because I have a nice scanner so I can just rescan all of those anyway with this one I'm trying to make sure I don't make the same mistake twice so I'm I've zoomed in quite a bit to make sure that the scans are nice and I ended up setting them up in InDesign first to kind of figure out what layout I wanted to go for. There's only one double page spread and I could probably replace it with something else because I have more scans than I do pages. I'm doing the maximum amount of pages. It's one o'clock. If I can get this one in today, that'll be great. Ideally, I want to do both of them. I want to do this one and that one, but I might have to re- like, I think I have to rescan all of these if I want to do this one. And I want to do the same amount of pages, so I think I might need more scans, which I think I can. Okay, you guys, it is seven o'clock, and I have finished formatting two zines, sketchbook zine one and two. So this one with a few more pages in it and then the other one um, which is new and then I double checked both of them to make sure that the files are high res <laughs> so I don't have the problem that I had with this one and I'm pretty excited about it. I do have slightly different formatting 
for both of them to match kind of my new branding and there's a different background on this one that's a little bit cuter so I'm pretty excited about how those goes hopefully they arrive before Emerald City Comic Con uh, but anyway, that pretty much wraps up all of the things that I had to do today. I didn't get around to doing the Q&A video, which I am kind of bummed about. And now I think since there's just a little bit of time left, I'm going to watch YouTube videos and draw at least one thing, like work on one drawing. And that's gonna be it. <laughs> if you like this video, be sure to thumbs up and let me know in the comment section below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I put out a new video every Thursday and at least every other Tuesday, sometimes more. And I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, you guys, bye.